Hi, I'm Action Jacqueline, and this is your booty and arm definition, where we're gonna tone and sculpt your arms and lift and get that butt on fire. So this is a part of the Bar Booty Lift Series, which you can download absolutely free with a link down below. And don't forget to tag me in all of your sweaty selfies for your chance to be featured right here, like these ladies who are getting incredible results with my workouts. So hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. Let's get to the workout. Let's start standing with our hand weights. And we're just gonna start with feet about shoulder width apart. We're gonna take a nice plie down here, more like a little squat as the booty goes back, and then stand right back up. So just warming it up nice and easy here. Good. So start to get into your body. Feel the legs starting to work. We're gonna be doing lots of booty, lots of arms. We're gonna be working them in combination together as well to just get the heart rate up even higher, burn more calories, and build lean muscles in your whole body. Good, so lower and lift, lower and lift. Feel those legs working. Start to get into your breathing, focus inward. Just name everything outside of you as unimportant. And right now, you get to just focus on you and your body. All right, down and up. Four more, four and three, good. Two and one, good. So now we're just going to open up to this side and then bring the elbows in, drop them in, and that's it. Out and in, out and in. Good, so we're gonna add a little bit of legs. So when the arms open up, we're gonna take a little squat down and in, other way and in. Good, out and up, out and up. I love working these little weights, even though three pounds definitely starts to build up a lot of heat and can really transform your arms a lot, okay? So don't be fooled by the little weight. It's gonna get ya, I promise. Down and up, a couple more times. Whew, letting that heart rate rise up. Good, six, five, four, and three, and two, and one. Good, all right, stand up. Have those weights right here, just simplify it. Lower and lift, getting right into those arms. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Standing tall and proud, all the way up through the crown of the head. Feel like you have some sort of crown on your head, Showing it off, practicing that good posture. Because remember, our physiology affects our psychology. So when you stand tall and proud, you're gonna feel like a million bucks. Good. Four more, four, and three, and two, and one. Nice job, take the hands, squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift up and lower. Lift up and lower, nice. Now we're gonna add the legs one more time so that we get those legs working with our arms. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna lower down to a little squat. Come up, lower down, and up. Good, lower and lift, lower and lift. I want you to resist on the way down. Use your muscles so you're not just kind of flailing down, right? You're really controlling every little inch. Nice. Picture your lats, those muscles underneath your armpits as little stoppers. They're kind of resisting on the way down. Use your shoulders. Whew, let that heart rate go up. Let the breathing get heavy. Let it get uncomfortable. Good, five and four and three and two and one. Nice, take out those legs nice and wide. We're gonna take a big second position plie. Hold it here, little pulses. Lift those elbows up. Notice how I'm like hugging a big beach ball right here. Yep, you're gonna feel those shoulders, Whew, upper arms working. Lift those elbows up and up as we sink. Whew. It's burning, good for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Keep the elbows lifted, 
lift up one heel at a time, lower down, lift, lower, lift, and lower. Focus on squeezing your booty, squeeze that booty in nice and tight, pull those ribs in, core tight, and I want you to feel those knees pressing open. Good, for 10, nine, eight, seven, good, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. All right, so I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see me. You're gonna reach one leg back. Arms are gonna come in. You're gonna extend out and lift. And then as the elbows come in, the knee is gonna pull all the way up into this passe position. Extend back, lift, and pull in. 10 times like that. Here we go. 10 and in. Nine. Eight. Seven. Whew, six. Find that balance. Five. Four. Mine feels all over the place today. Three. And two. And one. And a little breather. Good. We're going to go right onto the other side. Lift that leg up. Pull the core in. Let's go. And lift and in. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. And two. And one. Good job. Stay right here. Just bend those knees. Squeeze the elbows together. And then we're gonna lift the arm up and in, up and in. Keep going. Lift and lift. Good, really squeeze the elbows together. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Lift and lower, lift and lower. I want you to really get into those triceps. Feel the back muscles working as well. Lift and lift. Let that heart rate come down just a bit. Nice deep breath. Remember that slow exhale is gonna quickly calm the body down. So see if you can take a nice slow exhale. Nice, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's grab that block and you're gonna put it right here in the middle of your mat. Hold on to those weights if you want that extra oomph. All right, and we're gonna take a nice big squat out to the side, kind of like what we did earlier. Leg and arm is gonna come up together as we balance up onto the block, okay? So nice little deep squat here, and then lift. 15 times like that. If the block is too much, just take it away. Do the same thing without the block. All right, 15 and up. 14, 13, 12. There's something about the block that really challenges your balance, right, just being that much more elevated off the floor, really gives your body that extra challenge, the extra work, 10 and up. Keep going. Up, one, and up. Nice job, I'm just gonna turn so you can see me. We're gonna take a step back on the block, lunge it back right here, and we're gonna pulse it out just like this, okay? The arms are too much, I'm doing little bicep curls, just don't use the weights, okay? Here we go, a little pulsing out for 15, 14. Good. Now we're gonna spring up right up to the top, okay? Little pulses 
all the way up or spring up and then back down. Nice and light. Lift, lift that leg up behind you. Little tricep extension behind. Come right back in, all right? Lift and lower, good. Lift and lower, keep going. Ten more. Nine, nice and steady. And one. I lost my balance there for a little bit. Okay. So I'm just going to turn to the di diagonal so you can see me. We're going to take another balance pose here where we're going to pull the knee in. Kind of similar to what we did before, but this time we're on the block balancing it out. Whew. All right. We're just going to do eight of these. Nice and slow and steady. Eight. Pull it in. Good, seven. So slow control movements here. Rushing is not gonna help. I want you to feel every muscle. Good, and that hamstring, the glutes, working all the little muscles in the feet. Just three more, three and two, and one, let that go, good, okay, last thing here, we're going to place the block to the side, we're going to come into our second position, so toes are slightly turned out, squeeze that booty underneath you, drop down into your second position, good, we're going to lift the heel up, lower, lift, and lower, 15 times, if you'd like to add, Arms, I'm gonna add my arms. Ready, let's go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, stay low. 10, nine, squeeze that booty. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, ready to go to the other side? Yes. I am too, okay. I know, this stuff, it's not even a cardio class, but I'm definitely winded, which is good. We're getting our heart rate super high. Okay, so we are going to come all the way down into our little squat, and then remember we've got our side leg and arm lift. Now when you lift the leg, I want you to flex the foot. Lead with the heel, make sure that the toe is straight forward. All right, let's go, 15 and up. 14. This is really good for learning how to transfer your weight from one foot to the other. This is what dancers know how to do really well. That's really what dancing comes down to is learning how to transfer my weight here to here. Sounds really simple, but it's true. Eight, up, use that core. Seven, up. Six, remember you've got that crown on the top of your head that you're balancing still. Your queen crown, five, and four, three, two, one, and lower, nice. Okay, we've got our lunge back pulses. This one always gets me. Gets deep into those hamstrings, and whew, let's go. Good, 15. 14, oops, I gotta find my balance. 14, 13, there we go. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stand it right up Whew. to that leg lift and lower. Little tricep extension. And lower, 15, let's go, 15.
10 more, 10. I know you feel it, so do I. You gotta let the burn come in, it's okay. It's not gonna be there forever. And six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. 15 was a little ambitious, but I know you can do it. Okay, we've got eight of our balancing swings here. Just like what we did before. Arms come up overhead and pull it in. Here we go, eight times. Hold that core, lengthen through the spine. Eight and in, seven. Six, picture your most tallest, most confident, proud, beautiful stance right now. That's you right here. Five and four. Three, two, and one. All right, turn the block over. Coming into our wide second position. Whew. How you doing? Okay, let's finish this out here. Up 15, 14 with the heel, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, squeeze that booty. Five, can you get a little bit lower? Four, three, two, and one. All right, put those weights down for just a second. Oh man, okay. We're gonna come down onto the floor. We're gonna give our legs a little bit of a break and we're gonna work on some push-ups here with the block. Place the block out under the hand on your knees, pull your abs in. We're gonna do push-ups right here, okay? Eight times on the left and then the right. You ready? Let's go. And eight and up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, good. I love working my arms and just feeling so strong, feeling like I can lift anything, carry all of my bags, carry kids, my nieces. Okay, let's go. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, all right. Put that block right into those knees. We're gonna place the hands down. You're gonna tap the knees down, tap up, and then you're gonna kick the left leg up towards the butt, okay? Keep squeezing that block. If it's too much, just take the block out, okay? Here we go, and tap, and kick, tap. Alternating the kick, so right, left, right, left. 16, 15, 14, 13, keep going. 12, 11. Good, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, let go of that block. Now we're gonna pass it through. All right, we're gonna pass from our ankles to our hands. You're gonna get a little ab bonus here, because why not? The abs are always the glue to everything that we do. So you're gonna put the block in the feet. You're gonna extend long. You're gonna come up, grab it, and reach, okay? Really good exercise. Do as many as you can. I know it's tough but you always start with just your first rep, okay? So if you can do one rep, that's awesome. Take a break and then try another one. Here we go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 
16. Five more, I know, five, four, three, two, one. Whew. All right, take a little breather. Let's take a quick stretch to just take a break before we go into our next block. So just reach the hands forward. Take a nice little butterfly stretch, just like this, with the knees open. And just allow the breath to calm down. Remember the exhales is going to help you release and calm down. So long exhales, good. You're feeling so strong. And I know that you can finish out this workout even stronger. And every time you come back and join me for a workout, you feel progress, you feel excitement for your next workout, and you just feel so excited to come back and do this workout again and again. Okay, so we've got a little bit left to go. We're gonna come onto the block now. Let's try something fun, which I love doing. So we're gonna put our elbow down, our knee on the block, and then our other elbow is gonna be down just like this. All right, so this creates a new level, a way to work the legs. So we're gonna tap side, big lift, tap cross, just like that, okay? I'm gonna just scooch up a tad. So nice big rainbow, you're gonna cross, lift, tap, lift. All right, let's do 15, here we go. 15, and tap, that's one, 14. Good job. Now we're gonna pull the knee all the way up towards our elbow, towards our shoulder. Extend it all the way back. Squeeze the glute all the way up at the top, okay? Here we go. 15, 14, keep going. Good job. All right, you doing good? I know, it's a lot. We're gonna do one little bonus move here. Grab that weight, if you can. We're gonna put it behind the knee and we're just gonna come back onto the hands here. Lift, lower, just like that. 20 times, here we go. Two sets of 10. set of 10. I know you can do it. 10, 9, 8. Use those arms. Use your core. And one. Great job. We're going to flip this around. We're going to place both of our heels onto the block. Get really up into those glutes. And we're going to do some bridge lifts here. Okay, so both heels are gonna be down. You're gonna lift the booty up nice and high. Lift up and then lower down. So bring the feet all the way together. Knees are slightly open. Nice, we're gonna lower, lift, lower, and lift 20 times just like this. One 
One more set of 10. You've got this. Nine. Squeeze that booty. Eight. Seven. And six. Five. Four. Three. And two. And one. Let that go. All right. We're gonna go to the other side. We are so close to being done. Doesn't it feel so good? Get that sweat on. Know that you're doing amazing work for your body. All right, so even if you don't see the results right away, they're there, I promise. Just the way you feel is the best progress of them all, right? So we're gonna do the rainbow taps here. Tap and tap 15 times. Last three, finish them strong, don't fade out. This is where you plug in, this is where you give it your all. Leave it all out there. And one, good job. Right away, let's pull the elbow in, extend, let's go. Even if it's burning, I want you to feel it and accept it. It's gonna just be so temporary. That's the muscle, M working, getting stronger, all right? Goes through a little bit of pain before it, it feels good. Good. Nine. Whew. Eight. Seven. Six. Good. Can you pick it up a notch? Five. The pace. Four. Three. Two. And one. All right. Grab the weight. Here we go. We're doing 20 on this one. Both hands down on these shoulders. Let's go. Really blast out. Those glutes, that's what you came here for, right? To just burn up and get those glutes stronger. Good. Having strong glutes, of course, is gonna not only feel good, but really it's gonna help you prevent injuries in your hips and especially in your knees. I think we always forget about that. Nine, eight. Lots of times knee injuries come from a lack of glute strength. Good, five, four, Three, two, and one. Whew. All right, we've got our bridges, and that's it. We are there. This is it, final little bit. Now, if you'd like to just be a little crazy with me, you can take the weights, and we're gonna add a little tricep extension alongside our bridges, okay? So if you want that bonus, join me now, grab the weights. They're just gonna lower here like this, extend, lower. Make sure you don't hit your head, okay? It's the biggest thing. But I think once you lift up, yeah, it'll be out of the way. Okay, here we go. Lower and lift, lower and lift. Squeeze that booty up at the top. That's the most important thing here. Ten more, this is it, ten, and nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, squeeze that booty, three, two, and one, Woo! you are all done. Make sure you cool down with a good stretch or go on to one of my other finishers, awesome job. You did it, big high five for you. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can keep creating videos like this for you. And if you're ready to transform your body in just four weeks, then download my app starting risk-free for seven days. The link is down below and I'll see you in the next workout. Bye.